In Act One, Scene Three of Macbeth by William Shakespeare, the atmosphere is immediately charged with the supernatural as the scene opens with thunder, signaling the reappearance of the witches. As they discuss a curse they've placed on a sailor, a consequence of his wife's rudeness towards one of them, they're interrupted by Macbeth and Banquo returning from the battlefield. This moment adds a darkly magical element to the scene, demonstrating the witches' spee, powers and foreshadowing the turmoil that is to unfold in Macbeth's life, mirroring the doom of the cursed sailor. The sailor's fate, being tossed by storms and deprived of sleep, prefigures Macbeth's own future descent into torment and insomnia, underlining themes of fate, ambition, and the supernatural that pervade the play. As the witches engage with Macbeth and Banquo, they deliver three prophecies. Macbeth is to become Thane of Cawdor and then King of Scotland, while Banquo is told that, though he will not be king himself, his descendants will sit on the Scottish throne. The immediate vanishing of the witches leaves Macbeth and Banquo in a state of astonishment and contemplation over the veracity and implications of these prophecies. Macbeth's reaction to the witches reflects a deep intertwining of fate and ambition. His first utterance in the scene, so foul and fair a day I have not seen, ironically echoes the witch's paradoxical foul is fair from Act 1, Scene 1, hinting at his connection to the supernatural events to come. This encounter propels Macbeth into a whirlwind of thought about his potential rise to power and the moral and existential consequences of Banquo, it. on the other hand, is depicted as more reflective about the witch's ambiguous statements, representing the theme of fate versus free will. This contrast between Macbeth and Banquo's responses to the prophecies is crucial as it lays the groundwork for their different paths and sets up the play's exploration of the destructive nature of ambition and the heavy burden of prophecy. The arrival of Ross and Angus, who confirm Macbeth's new title as Thane of Cotter, turns the prophecy into reality, deepening Macbeth's internal conflict and ambition. The truth of the prophecy ignites a dangerous aspiration within Macbeth, and plants the seed of his tragic downfall. The scene also reflects Shakespeare's interest in the psychological effects of ambition and guilt. Macbeth's internal turmoil and Banquo's cautious skepticism highlight the play's focus on human nature, the struggle for power, and the influence of the supernatural. Furthermore, Shakespeare masterfully crafts this scene to underline the unpredictability of Macbeth's fate. The witch's prophecies introduce the possibility of great power but also sow the seeds of chaos and tragedy, emphasizing the theme of the hazardous pursuit of ambition. The mysterious and ambiguous nature of the witches themselves, portrayed as neither fully male nor female, both present and absent, enhances the eerie and uncertain atmosphere that surrounds Macbeth's destiny. In sum, Act 1, Scene 3 crucially sets the stage for the unfolding drama, establishing key themes and delving into the complex psychological states of Macbeth and Banquo. This scene serves as a turning point that propels Macbeth towards his tragic fate, entangling him in Megfoot's. Before you go, if this video was helpful to you, please leave a like on the video and let us know in the comments what book you would like us to make a video on next. Thanks for watching. This has been another Bookly Crash Course.